Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to another session of the Fatimiya series, where we try and answer some of the most important questions raised in the community regarding the events of Fatimiya. As always, we are joined by Brother Hassan, who has been helping us throughout this journey. Today we wanted to address another doubt that has been coming up periodically within our community. The question at its surface seems logical and reasonable, but at the end is really another attempt at questioning the wisdom of Amir al-Mu'mineen alayhi salam. That if Fadak was the property of Hazrat Zahra salam alayhi alayhi, that after her, it was the right of her children. Then why did Amir al-Mu'mineen not reclaim this right during the time of his caliphate? Wa alaykum salam. And you know what I find really interesting about this question? It's that this question has been asked from the time of our blessed Imams alayhi salam as well. I mean, it's, it seems just for Amir al-Mu'mineen alayhi salam to take back what was rightfully his during his rule, right? But before we look at what the Imams had, said, had to say about this, here's something to think about. So the Imams' rule as apparent caliph was brief, about four and a half years, right? Four and a half years long, and that's it. And even that was filled with wars, filled with the battle of Jamal, then Sifin, that lasted for a year, and then Nahrawan. And then, towards the end of the Imam's life, he had to prepare for another war waged by Muawiyah, which was later fought by Imam Hassan a.s. So where in this bloodbath was Amir al-Mu'mineen a.s. supposed to find opportunities to right the wrongs of the past? You know, how was he to remove the innovations introduced by the usurpers when he was busy dealing with the rebellion after rebellion? Yeah, that's an interesting point. Because if we truly think about it, the enemies of the Imam salam, had made sure that he was so preoccupied with the conflicts that they created that he would not be able to reinstate the true teachings of Rasulullah Yes, of course. But then again, it also goes back to the points we mentioned in one of the earlier segments about the political atmosphere and the volatile nature of the nation and the knowledge of the plots of the enemies and that all played a role in the Imam salam, not seeking revenge and similarly not reclaiming Falak. Amir al-Mu'mineen salam, himself said about the land of Falak in Nahj al-Balagha, which is in letter number 45. He said, Falak was in our hands from everything which is shaded by the sky, and then the people desired it, and then some bestowed it upon others, and Allah is the best of judges, and whatever they did with Falak, and other than Fadak, then they will be accounted for in the grave. So essentially, Imam salam had left the matter on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which meant that he knew what awaited the usurpers in their graves, and hence he did not reclaim Fadak. Well, yes and no. This was the Imam explaining and establishing his position about Fadak, you know, making it clear that he did not wish to pursue it and had left the matter on the most wise. Allah. But when asked about Fadak, Imam Salik salam further explained this position and said, Because the oppressor and the oppressed one will both be presented before Allah, the high and majestic be he, and Allah will reward the oppressed one and will punish the oppressor, then he did not like that he desires to take back anything for which Allah will punish the usurper and will reward the usurped one. And this really means that the seeming inaction of the Imam was the direct result of his unwavering trust in the justice of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this establishes Imam Ali's position. But the reason was given by Imam Sadiq salam in response to Ibrahim al-Karhi and then again by Imam Musa al-Kazim salam. So in the gist of their answers is that the Ahlul Bayt salam do not take their rights from their oppressors except the rights of the Shia, which they take back from the oppressors, as they are the masters of the believers. And meaning that the Ahlul Bayt salam, do not prioritize the rectification of their violated rights, but rather the rights of their followers that have been oppressed. So you would find Amir al-Mu'mineen roaming the streets of Kufa in the midst of the night, giving food to those who did not have any. And so we see him taking care of the orphans and protecting them from the trials of this world. Because Amir al-Mu'mineen alayhi salam knew that Hazrat Zahra alayha loved to ease the pain of others before that of herself. And above all else, the Imam's actions are an eternal message for humanity. 
just like the missing grave of Hazrat Zahra Alaiha, because the Imam did not retake Fadak, no one can argue that all wrongs were righted if he took it back. But on the contrary, whenever the topic of Fadak is discussed, the incidents of Saqifa and the attack on the house of Hazrat Zahra and the character of the oppressors all comes under scrutiny 